there guys King and DJ here with another Minecraft video for you guys this Minecraft video is me on my super flat world and I'm gonna be doing a tutorial for you guys I haven't done these in a while so I'm just trying to get back um, get more into tutorials now so this is how to make a wood generator tutorial and I'm just gonna show you it by showing it works I gotta give credit to AC Tennis AC and a couple of other people that found the glitch and yeah so as you can see the words um the boats basically goes um it comes outside and basically doesn't know what to do so it just crashes into another brick fences and yeah so let's just get this started with now and there you go you see um enough wood now you want so let's get this started um you place down this is all the items that you will need you can basically pause the video and just see everything now that you might need to get i'll say about getting roughly about 18 of everything um except um, nine hoppers so yeah let's get started um now you need to basically get the hopper connected to the chest as you can see that little tube there and then you get your block and then you place a dispenser. You're, you're basically done with the dispenser part now. Um, get the lava buckets. Um, now you basically encode the place with glass. So I got a bit of cold. Now you place your hopper on top of the dispenser. Now this is quite a hard part for some of you who don't know to use hoppers. Basically you make that's one hopper face to the lab and that hopper right there right there and yeah there you go so it's, it looks pretty cool actually to be honest um now you're basically done with the hopper part you can just throw that away um place your three little big fences okay and now you basically get your glass panes out basically encode that also you basically so nothing gets like thrown out once the process is working there we go and now we get our glass blocks out again basically encode that too there we go and now you place your lava your lava so it's quite laggy to be honest i'm just going to turn off that one it's going to be quite a bit of lag here we go and now um now you get your water buckets you place one there place one there place one there so now the boats can go there and crash into that you get your stone slabs out now and you basically place them um, remember not to drop anything inside the hopper so sometimes it gets quite buggy and doesn't work so there you go now you basically done you built it now you need the redstone which is seriously the most, most easiest redstone you could ever do it's basically a clock but it's quite uh, it's a quite kind of a different um, clock we're doing here so you can just throw this stuff away I don't know why we have the chest and I'll get all your redstone stuff out. You can have a lever if you want if you want to turn it off and on. Or you can just keep it how much you want. So get your redstone repeater facing that way. There you go. And get your redstone compatible route. Turn that on. I think it's this way right now. I think it's this way, yeah. So now you basically change that block into a quartz block. So you can place your lever here if you want. And now um, this this is basically the easy part. You get about eight boats. Don't fill the full thing up. Just leave one space out, or the glitch won't work. As you can see now, this will basically start lighting up and press the button oh, there you go 
there you go, so... There you go, so basically it's gonna start working now. There you go. Thank you for watching guys, I hope this tutorial helped you, and remember to like, comment, and subscribe. There you go, basically, how much wood do you want? As you can see, it will basically do that, and it will keep on redoing itself, because once the boat crashes, one boat crashes, um, another one makes uh, sticks and wood. So thank you for watching guys, peace.